testing out GeForce now on the Lenovo IdeaPad Chromebook Duet. This is actually my second test tonight for the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. I just recorded a video, but after watching it, I decided to try a couple different things here. So already off the bat, it looks like it's a higher resolution than I was getting on my first attempt on this Duet. So we'll go double check that. Using the trackpad right now. Because I was running at, um, it wouldn't let me raise it past a 800p resolution. So let's see what it picked this time. Yay! 1080. It would not give me this and defaulted to 16 by 10 on my last recording. Okay, so that's why it looks better. But all the settings are defaulted to garbage, just like on the Galaxy Tab S7. So we'll crank these up. I should use the controller, see if the amp controller's working. So let's crank all these up. I don't know why streaming service defaults these to trash. Hit Y to apply. And I am using an Xbox One controller on here. Um, just looking at this, I've got a, a delay in the sticks, so probably going to get killed. Um, I'll show you some of the graphic settings uh, I changed because I was letting it do the auto config in the uh, Chrome browser because you cannot use the app on Chromebooks for some reason. You have to run this through the web browser to get it to work. But switch this up. Okay, not recognizing the presses. So I'm probably gonna get killed real quick <coughs> since I can feel the delay in the sticks. And I was testing it out on firing range to try to minimize that delay. I had to yank the batteries out of the controller because uh, you can't, I can't minimize the window to go into Bluetooth and to unpair it. Because the way they're doing their GeForce now, it just locks it into full screen. Oh, this is better than it was on the main menu. Enough flirting. Save it for when we win. I just polished my grapple. Fate will be on our side, Fly Fighter. And I'll show the graphic settings on the GeForce browser page. And I'll show you the speed test results at the end since I can't minimize this. And I'm doing the free version, so I have to wait in line every time I load this up. I have to wait for a, an available rig to stream it to me since I'm just trying this out. Yeah, I got like a little bit of a delay on the sticks. Yeah, left trigger's got a delay too. Let's see what happens. This might be a good place to land. Nope, it's not. You're stupid. Just want to give a shout out. Here we go. It's a long drop. Fun. I'm going to check out over there. Attention. First blood. First blood on the enemy. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a delay. Round one. Beginning Beginning recount recount Great. Already yeah, at least I'm not playing in low resolution like last time. No, 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 no. And unlike the Galaxy Tab S7, I don't f think I have a big audio delay. I'll probably do a desktop and test it. 
No, it doesn't seem like there's a big audio delay. Let's go look for trouble, get this video over with. Test it out in a fight. New kill leader appointed. Be aware of the new kill leader. Oh, tracks. Attention, the kill Let's explore leader has this been Do this gameplay. I am using the tablet screen. I'm not used to this Xbox controller on this game. These sticks are so loose. I'm gonna try to pick them up. Yep, not used to these sticks. They're so loose compared to PS4. Alright. But yeah, there's a little bit of delay on there. Plus, the tension of Xbox sticks, I hate them. Alright, let's hit escape. Get out of here. So I can show you the other settings. Also, the graphical quality was a lot better than my first attempt on the Chromebook, definitely. I got interrupted, but um, this video will be recorded at 30 frames per second in 1080p because my Avermedia 2 Plus, well, the signal on the Chromebook over the USB-C, it only outputs 30 FPS if it's doing 1080p for some reason. But on the actual tablet screen, it's running at 60. So let's quit out of here like you're doing the normal desktop PC version. Should bring me back to my Chrome browser. Yep, so now you can see that it's definitely a Chromebook. I'm waiting for it to reload the main menu page here. My library is emptied and the screen is frozen. What the fuck? There it goes. Alright, so. Show you the setting here that I changed to. So, on my first attempt on this recording, it was on balanced, but these settings were exactly the same. It said balance 1080p, 60 FPS, auto. And just as an experiment, I was like, you know what, I better toggle that to custom and then go back in the game and see. And then it, it actually outputted at 1080p because it was locking me to 800p on my first attempt on this Chromebook. And just to show you my speed tests, that's what I got right after that last game. But we'll run it again just to show you it's real. And like I was saying in my last video, which I'm not even going to upload now, um, this 5G antenna in this duet seems really weak. Because if I try to do this in my room, where it's just going through one wall separated from my wireless router, it drops my download to 25 megs which is and then my upload man what was that upload I think the upload got restricted to 10 but now I'm actually you know, this is way worse than before and now I'm uh, sitting in line of sight of my wireless router I'm only like 15 feet away so that's the signal strength I got but yeah that's the updated test on a 
Lenovo IdeaPad Chromebook, which did work a lot better than my Galaxy Tab S7 because the volume wasn't low. It didn't seem delayed that much, but the uh, controller was definitely had a slight hesitation in it, but it did work out better.